probably the best way to use it. Uh, you could make shelter with it. I mean, these things are cheap. They're you know, probably a one-time use uh, type thing, maybe two or three times. I don't know. But the point is, I've never used them. I will take these out and test them. But I think they do work. Good invention. Lightweight, weighs nothing. Why not carry it? I have a whistle. Everybody's got to blow the whistle. Uh, you know, those around your neck. You're lost. You made a decision to move ahead, move somewhere else, or vice versa. You see somebody that's looking for you, or maybe looking for you, or you see somebody. You can blow this, get their attention. It's hard to yell, like my voice is going right now. So I can yell if I had to. You know, what if it'd be a damn shame you see somebody walking, you know, so far away. And, you're yelling, and they can't hear you, and your voice goes out, and, uh, you know, where is you can blow that whistle. Here, <clears throat> I have my Nova light. Uh, this thing is a dynamite. It has your low beam, your high beam. You know, I've done a review on this. Your uh, standard blink there, your SOS, your uh, international emergency signal, and red... Uh, and yellow blinking there. I, I don't know what that stands for. Then you have a red light hanging around your neck with your fire, uh, with your uh, strike force and your more knife setup, and you're doing pretty good. Okay, so that's all that's in that pocket. Next pocket over or up is another one, a long pocket split in half. On one side of the pocket I have a thing, a little keychain thing here, a backpack built with full of batteries. CR 123s, AA, AAA. And you know, enough set on that. I also have a small cheap headlamp. It's uh, I think this is, uh, it's a cheap one, I don't know what the hell it is. But anyway, it does a job, if it's pitch black, it's all you have, or in, com in combination with um, the, sh the Phoenix, you know, it, it works good. I used it out in Wyoming. Um, however, I am looking for a super uh, duper headband, small, uh, tight, light, and um, I found it, I just haven't bought it yet, it's a, um, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but anyway, Princeton I think it is, it's, it's like, uh, I think 200 looms for that matter, I, I don't know, I have to check it out, but I'm planning on getting it here so, shortly. In this pouch here, I have my imitation, copycat, um, Esbit stove. It has 12 hexamine tablets in it for cooking. Also backup fire device or fire starting device. But this stove here, man, I love this thing and so far. It is cheaply made. I paid five bucks for it. However, um, it um, you can use it in two configurations. But I haven't really found anything yet that I can put on here. You know, and I'm not carrying some giant ass skillet or something like that. Especially on a on a 24 hour bag or day hike or whatever. But this right here. Um, there you go. Billy can. Whoa. Hold still Billy can. Billy can. Cooking away. Now, if I was on level ground, it would work. But anyway, or if I was on ground, it would. Work. But anyway, take care of it. Don't you know? You know, come out, just rip it apart, or trying to rip it open or something. Just you know, take your time. It has two. Ah, dang it. Hold on, people. What the hell's bothering me? Somebody from North Carolina. Hold on, let me take this call. I'm not going to take this call. I'll call him back. Anyway, so, like I was saying, take care of this thing. Works great. Uh, for five bucks, how can you beat it?
Um, and you can carry your fuel right inside. Now usually for about a half a cup of water you need one of these tabs. Full cup two and then I don't know what the hell you need for that billy cam. Probably about four or six. I don't know. So that's the downfall of it. However, you could put wood in here. Just maybe raise this thing up on something. Like some rocks or something. Put some wood in under it that way. Or you could probably cook on it like so. And build a little fire under here. Um, I think would work, work as well. But anyway, for five bucks, you can't beat it. It's easy to carry. Weighs maybe an ounce, maybe an ounce. Um, so I spray painted this as well with the uh, high heat paint, and I just believe that that helps take care of uh, the, the material, and it helps prevent. Um, you know, if you leak anything on it, it helps, it cleans it up and all that kind of stuff. So that's those two pockets. And then in my final pocket here, I have uh, two pieces of sandpaper. One 60 grit, one 320. Sandpaper, good for a lot of things. In combination with the whetstone and the uh, sharpening rod, you can sharpen your knife with it. You can do fine sanding tasks, like example, you're making fish hooks or something like that. You can sand them down real smooth. Uh, yes, you can whittle, yes, you, but this can do the final touches on it. It weighs nothing. I have plenty of room for it. You know, what's the big deal? Throw it in there, you have it. And I, I, I don't know, but I assume you could probably burn that as well. Last but not least, I have a um, roll, 30 feet, I believe, of Gorilla Tape. Um, this stuff is great. Again, another source of making fire or, or help you, help you uh, get a fire lit. Um, but you can use it in emergency situations as bandage. You can hold bandages on, like I can take the shima on. Say if I cut my leg, I can you know, tie that around, tape this around, help hold the bandage on, whatever. That's just an example, but you know, you could do that. You could uh, tape your tarp example right here. Right there. You get a hole in your stuff, tape it up. You can use it to tape your tarp up on the, uh, on, you know, as shelter. Um, a lot of things. You can actually peel this off, fold it, uh, and uh, spin it up and make cordage out of it as well. So a lot of uses for this. It weighs, I don't know, six ounces maybe, four ounces, I don't know. It's not heavy at all. You know, it's not big. It doesn't take up any room. Uh, why not have it? It's a great piece of kit to throw in your pack. You know, a lot of people take these cards, and I do it too, I have it in some of my kits, but take the card, wrap it up with the tape, that's great, I mean, but right here, I mean, this is about 30 feet, uh, it's not now, because I've used some of it, but the point is, it's a good piece of kit to have in your bag. Um, and that's it. That's the stuff that, you know, and that some of the stuff, you know, I'll probably throw a little bit more food in here. And possibly, depending on the weather, now if it's cold, as, if it's like spring, I'm probably not going to take that sleeping bag. I'll probably take like a poncho liner or something like that. Um, if it's um, if it's colder, like today, it is snowing its ass off. It's uh, 26 December 2012 um, <laughs> in northern Ohio. It's snowing its ass off right now. And so... I may want to take my sleep bag and a poncho liner. So I, there's still a lot of room here. And again, it, it may be a little bit more uh, more than what would be needed for a day hike. However, the idea behind it is you get stranded out in the woods or some reason for some reason, or you're out in the woods and you find something that you want to stay out in the woods.